Okay, now for some something completely new. Not really. Um, this is actually pretty easy. Uh, pay attention. It's not hard. It's a little bit different than what we've been doing, but it's nothing you can't do. You'll notice this time what we're looking for this time is, hopefully my pen will work, we're looking for X. Um, and we're going to look to try to figure out what X actually is. Um, and actually the work involved is much easier. You just got to follow along. Okay, so again, what we're going to do is we're going to label our triangle. Um, we're going to label it with um, hypotenuse. This is my opposite. And there's my adjacent. Now the only side I'm not using is adjacent. But I am using O and I'm using H. So let me remind myself, some old horse caught another horse taking oats away. The trig function that uses O and H is sine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use sine. Now sine is a trig function, but you always have to do sine, cosine, or tangent of an angle. Well, I wasn't really given the angle, but I'm going to call it x, sine of x. I'm going to try to find x. It's a little bit different. Now we're looking for angle measures, not side measures. Well, sine of x is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is 10 over 16. Now, every year I get some bozo that doesn't want to listen to me and wants to do things their own way and try to divide by sine, and your calculator just goes crazy because you cannot divide by sine. But if you look above the word sign, you will see the inverse sign. The inverse sign. Um, if I look over at the calculator, and if I bring up the calculator, I think it's around here somewhere. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to bring up that calculator. Um, there it is. Uh, don't register. And if I maximize this. The inverse sign is right here above the sign. So hopefully we're going to be able to use that. Um, I have no idea what happened to my Word document. There it is. So we're going to use inverse sign. So I want to find out what x is. So I'm going to set x equal to, and it's very, very simple. Actually, I'm moving the sign over to this side. But when it comes to the other side, it's actually now the other sign. It's sign negative 1. That stands for inverse sign. So I'll do inverse sine of 10 divided by 16. And actually, I can type that right into my calculator. I'll get x equals, so second sine, you hit second sine, 10 divided by 16. And if you hit enter, hopefully, if, you're, if, you're, if your calculator is in degree mode, you'll get 38 point, uh, let's do hundreds, 6, 8 degrees. Now let's do it to the tens. 38.7 degrees. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Let me slide over. I don't want to do that one. I'll do this one. Um, we're going to look for this angle. So we're going to do opposite, hypotenuse, and adjacent. Well, this one, the two sides that I was given were the opposite and adjacent. Well, that's tangent. So tangent of x is equal to opposite, which is 3, over adjacent, which is 9. Opposite over adjacent. That's tangent. That's what tangent is defined as. So if I want to find the angle measures, I need to use the inverse trig function. So I'm going to say x equals tangent inverse tan of 3 divided by 9. Okay. And then I just start typing in my calculator. Second tan, 3 divided by 9, and your calculator spits out x equals, we'll round to the tenths place, 18.4 degrees. Not bad so far. Kind of simple, kind of easy. All right, I don't want to do that one. I don't want to do that one. How about this one? This one looks good. There's my angle. Here's my hypotenuse. Here's my opposite. Here's my adjacent. And this time I'm using A and H. Well, hopefully by now you've memorized that's caught another horse. So that's cosine of angle X is equal to the adjacent, which is 27, over the hypotenuse, which is 41. So 
in order to find x, I quite simply just type right in x equals, I'm going to bring the cosine over. When it comes over, it becomes the inverse cosine, so cosine negative 1 of 27 divided by 41. So you're going to use the inverse trig function to actually figure out what the angle measure is. And in this case, the angle measure, second cosine of 27 divided by 41 is 48.8 degrees. All right, I'm going to keep going. If you want me to pause it, you can always pause it. Or we can just keep riding right along. Uh, we'll do one more. Let's see which one. And we'll just do this one. Here's my little angle. Now the hypotenuse is opposite the 90, so make sure you're being careful. You know that the hypotenuse is over here. Uh, there's my angle, and if I follow along the opposite, opposite will be over here. It's a crazy long triangle. And then this then would be the adjacent side. So in this case, I'm using O and A again. O and A is which function? Oh, you all said tangent at the same time. That's lovely. You're so brilliant. Not. How many of y'all are still awake? Hopefully. This last problem, then I'm going to give you the homework. So x tangent of x is equal to opposite over adjacent. So tangent of x, I don't know why I wrote it like that, is equal to the opposite, which is 8, over the adjacent, which is 23, taking oats away. But I want x, so I'm going to do x equals tan negative 1 of 8 divided by 23. And that will give me second tan of 8 divided by 23. Hopefully it's a tiny little angle. Well, that's not too bad. x equals 19.2 degrees. And that's, friends how you find the angle measure. Now I'm going to post these online, so you'll be able to see these. These should already be posted online, so you'll be able to see these. And hopefully, if you have problems, you'll be able to look back and do your homework. So let me tell you what your homework is. I'll write it down right here. Homework. Your homework is to do pages 31 and 32. 31 and 32, so that's eight questions. And that's like it was last night. You're going to use sine, cosine, and tangent to find a side. So that's like it was last night. Actually, you know what? Let's just make this, let's just make this evens. That's a lot of work. We'll just do evens. So 31, if you want to do bonus, bonus will be all of them. And then page 33, I just want you to finish. So finish this page we're on right here. Finish page 33. So these are your homework, the evens, 31 through 32. And on page 33, I'd like you to finish it. All right, good luck. Have a great weekend. I thank you very much for being respectful. And if you are not, oh, it's going to be painful when I get back. All right, guys, have a great weekend.